no one enjoys a stay in the hospital, but you, you have to be there. What better treat could there be than getting a visit from a cute little four-legged canine, a therapy dog? Joining us now is, is Keith S. Fishman, Program Coordinator from the Sally and Bob Goldman Therapy Dog Program at Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital. Keith, thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me on. So, Keith, can we start off by, can you tell us your background with dogs and how did you get involved in the uh, therapy dog program at West Bloomfield Henry Ford Hospital? Well, I've been involved with dogs in therapy work in particular for over 20 years. Uh, I always trained my dogs heavily, and uh, my wife had seen a, an article in the news about kids reading to dogs in the library. She said, you know, you have a dog that's incredibly trained. Did you ever think of, uh, of, of sharing him? So uh, I did and got my dog certified as a therapy dog and that started me out. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Henry Ford uh, in West Bluefield was built, about 13 years ago, they had a uh, community outreach, walked in and talked to them and asked if they were interested in therapy dogs or if they had a program. And they had one facility dog and they were looking to bring owner handler dogs in there. And that started me and Henry Ford. So Keith, um, I've been uh, at the hospital with uh, some relatives and stuff and these, these therapy dogs come in and it is such a bright light in the day when instead of just sitting there staring at the walls or staring at the tiny TV above you, they get to visit with a, with a dog. How are these dogs chosen and what kind of training do they have to go to to become therapy dogs? Dogs have to undergo a lot of training. Uh, obviously when we choose a dog, we're gonna be looking for a dog that's very stable. We're going to have to be looking for a dog that's going to love the work, which means they like the attention, they like people, they like handling, they're very engaging. So we choose dogs that have those uh, personality traits, and then they go through a whole set of obedience training so that we know they're reliable, they'll do what they're asked, when they're asked, and we test them for things like, again, stability, uh, making sure their dogs aren't frightened of much, because a hospital is a is a pretty busy environment. The dog's gotta be able to handle pretty much anything and keep it in stride. So we do months of training and then we actually do in-hospital training and then we train our uh, handlers to be with those dogs so the dogs are also used to being with multiple handlers. So that when they come into the hospital, all you recognize and all you see is the dog. The rest looks absolutely mm -hmm. seamless. And Keith, I know an interesting fact about the uh, therapy program at Henry Ford West Bloomfield is that it is an entirely donation funded program. How are donations solicited in order to um, keep these dogs uh, visiting patients in the hospital? Thank you for mentioning that, by the way. Yes, we are entirely donation funded. And most of our funding comes from the employees themselves through employee giving. They recognize how important the dogs are in the hospital. They know how much they enjoy seeing the dogs in the hospital themselves, and uh, they end up helping us fund the program. And it's got to pick up all the expenses for the dog, from purchasing a dog, to training a dog, to uh, uh, getting the dog's veterinary needs and feeding needs taken care of. So, uh, And we also get outside donations as well. Obviously, it's called the uh, Sally and Bob Goldman uh, therapy dog program because they made sure that we are taking care of there enough so that we can continue running the program and have that necessary buffer. But we we welcome donations from the public as well. We get a lot of those from people who have experienced the dogs themselves in the hospital or a loved one who's experienced the dogs in the hospital. So Keith, um, I know uh, the handlers bringing the dogs into the patient's room, it's a very interactive experience. And uh, just wondering, during the COVID-19 pandemic, what kind of challenges did you folks have there um, in, in getting the dogs uh, into the rooms to visit patients? Was the, the program suspended for a period of time? Unfortunately, our program, like every program, was suspended for several months. But I'm really pleased to say with the work of people in the hospital and all the stakeholders, infection control administration, we found a way and a very specific and a strict protocol for handling the dogs, where they could be in the hospital at any given time, uh, what were safe places at the hospital. So we had to create a whole new protocol for the dogs to be in the hospital. And we had to do retraining of our handlers so they knew the protocols in the hospital. But it did allow us to be the first hospital in the entire state to get dogs back in the hospital. It started just common areas. It started purely for staff because they were so stressed out. And as COVID has released a little bit, we have continued to expand where in the hospital we go with the dogs. And at this point, I'm very pleased to say the dogs are back in the rooms under this protocol uh, at the hospital now. 
So now patients in the rooms can get a chance to see the dogs again. That's great news. So um, when you do take the uh, dogs around the rooms, is, is there a specific age group that you find that especially enjoys the visits from the therapy dogs? I mean, people would think it's the children, or is it maybe the seniors that enjoy getting those visits? Well, I'll tell you, there's no such thing as a favorite age group. Mm -hmm. People just love seeing the dogs. They all do it their own way. The kids mm -hmm. love to see the dogs. We, one of our favorite places mm -hmm. is in pediatrics, of course, because kids just light up. Uh, but seniors love to see the dogs. The staff, sometimes we have trouble getting past the staff just to get into the room because they love seeing the dogs as well. So we just get a really nice greeting from everybody across the board when it comes to bringing the dog. It's real easy to be doing that job as a volunteer because everyone smiles and they're happy to see you. So I know the so sound of a dog leash, and it sounds like there's someone below you. Who do you have there with you? Well, there was, but he just left oh, the room. No. Uh, it was Odin, but I'll try, I'll, if you want to get a minute, I'll, I'll, I'll mute myself so you don't hear the whistle, and he'll come back, and we'll get a chance to see him before we finish up here. You can go ahead. You want to whistle. That's fine. It's live TV. It's okay. <laughs> Odin here. He's on his way. Probably hear him clamoring down the stairs. Come here, Odin. Now we got two dogs for the price of one. One, two. Hold on. I'll have to play with this just a little bit so you can see him. Oh, oh, look at There's Odin. There's my boy Odin. He's my oh. Doberman. He's a two-year-old Doberman, and he's one of the therapy dogs at the hospital. And uh, a lot of people like to collect their cards. We have these from all our dogs at the hospital so oh. people can remember who it was that came in the room and visited with them. Those are awesome. Um, I also uh, saw a tweet recently uh, by Henry Ford Health that featured some beautiful paintings that pay tribute to past and present Henry Ford therapy dogs. Do you know anything about that artwork there? We have had two beautiful artworks that have just recently been unveiled at the hospital. One was a painting of Benson, who was our second facility dog at the hospital, which means one of the dogs that was owned by the hospital itself or by the program itself. And it went right next to our uh, painting of our first dog, which was Henry. And the other thing is we had a beautiful life-size sculpture of a therapy dog being hugged by a little six-year-old girl. And that was uh, to honor all of the dogs that come into the hospital, both facility dogs and owner handled dogs, for all the dogs that have been there, all the dogs that are there, and all the dogs that are going to be part of our program because they recognize at the hospital just how much joy they bring. Tell people in healthcare, the therapy dog program is the care portion. Nice. So Keith, before we let you go, can you just tell our viewers how they can donate to keep these furry friends as visitors at Henry Ford West Bloomfield? Absolutely. Uh, if you go to the uh, Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital, there is a button that says donate now. Go to the uh, uh, Sally and Bob Goldman Therapy Dog Program and you can donate there. And it's always greatly appreciated. It helps us make sure we've got plenty of dogs in the hospital. There's no such thing as too many dogs in the hospital. Keith, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. You have a, great, a terrific day.